If your company has electric cars as company cars, of course you want your employee to charge at home. It's cheaper for you and it's easier for the employee. Tronity has a software solution for you to know how much you have to pay your employee for charging at home. With the fleet manager you manage your employees and your cars. Tronity connects to the cars and knows exactly when the car is charging at home and how much. And then you get an easy monthly bill for your employee. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description below. Hello everyone, this is a Tesla Model Y Juniper all-wheel drive, long range and I'm gonna do 110 kilometers an hour range test today. It's heating, so hot today, it should be 32 degrees today. The car is charging, I'm charging to 80% and then we go and it's cooling its battery like crazy because it's just so warm and it didn't even preheat the battery when it came here but it's charging very nicely, we'll see. It's T told me from 20 to 80 percent 30 minutes we'll see how long it will take uh, but the highway is right here this car has 19 inch summer tires on 255 and when i'm done charging i'm just going to go on the highway and drive gps speed 110 and we'll see how far we can get now at almost 50 percent it still tells me 25 minutes to 80 percent it's charging with 109 kilowatt I'm on my way again, charged to uh, 80% like I said, and now I'm driving 110, and again this is almost GPS speed, so 110 and a half would be the perfect speed, doesn't work <laughs> that way. Um, since charge uh, trip has been reset, I'm still at 21 and a half degrees auto, AC on, there are people driving so slow. Oh my god, everyone is trying to save gas um, and my autopilot works again. <laughs> autopilot was off, it, was, uh, it told me for this trip you can't drive with autopilot, blah blah blah, because I was looking at my phone for two seconds. <sighs> it's so annoying, <laughs> but that's how it is. I used 10% of the battery, drove 51 kilometers, so a calculated range would be 510. Of course this is not enough, that's why we're gonna drive way more than this. Average consumption 139.4, which is amazing, it's a great consumption. Drive is good, I have to pass a lot of car when I, cars when I drive 110 and of course I have to do that with a higher speed, so I have to speed up a lot. This is normal for this test unless there's no traffic, but of course it's, what time is it, 11 o'clock on a Sunday and like I said holidays are over I think today and tomorrow is normal stuff, that's why it's a bit busier. But it's still okay, but I have to pass many times and for that I have to uh, speed up a bit. Okay, there are only idiots on the road today. <laughs> it's busy and they're idiots. And with idiots I mean people that drive 106 and then when you pass them they drive 120. And then they drive, they pass you and they drive 106 again. <sighs> okay, how is the Tesla Model Y Juniper uh, on the highway at 110? It's of course quieter, but not as much more. It was already amazingly quiet before, totally fine with it. Um, consumption is incredible with 141. It drives great. 
Um, what else? Yeah, it's annoying that I cannot turn off the pay attention to the road warning. So I haven't found anywhere where I could turn that off. So if I look here on the map or if I do something with my cameras for three seconds, there's a warning. And if I do that uh, three times, then it kicks me out of autopilot and says, for this drive, you cannot drive with autopilot anymore. Ugh, that's really annoying. What's good with autopilot, I think they improved that, is that it recognizes that I'm here. So I'm not steering. But when it says, hey, please steer, I have to steer. But it doesn't, it rarely, rarely warns me, hey, you're not touching the steering wheel. So that's cool. I have used 25% of the battery and drove 125 kilometers. So my full range right now is 500 kilometers calculated, which is awesome. Consumption went up a bit to 145, that's okay. It's also 29 degrees out there. And like I said, I have to pass the whole time like right now. It's it's just no way around today and it's better than on a different day with trucks where I have to pass the whole time and then when a truck is passing I have to slow down so this is the best I can do I turned around I'm back uh, on my way back to the charger it's 99 kilometers to go I have 190 kilometers of range, so no problem. Um, where are we? Uh, car says I will arrive in 49 minutes, and I think that's pretty good considering I have 98 kilometers and drive 110. For me, that means that the car knows I'm not driving 130, which is amazing. That rarely happens. And I should arrive with 12%. And I can also see that. I think it will be a bit more because it's a bit downhill on this route back. Uh, but still, really, really good. It's now 31 degrees, gigantic heat wave. Just today, tomorrow it's gonna rain and it's gonna be 25 degrees or something, which is good. I'm not a fan of above 30 degrees for a long time. I have used 50% of the battery and drove exactly 250 kilometers, so full range of 500 kilometers. Consumption is right now at 146.7. Uh, I still have 33 minutes to go, 65 kilometers. Now it says I arrive with 14%. So at the time went up too. So we're getting later there and the state of charge is higher too. So maybe it doesn't know that I'm driving 110, but it's not far off. Where are we? I arrived with 17%. Drove 316.2 kilometers, average consumption 148.2. Ah, so it's loud here. We have nine Teslas charging at the same time on all nine chargers, and they're all fanning like crazy. Plus, the charger has fans too. <laughs> I calculated the range and I get to 504 kilometers with this cons uh, consumption under these conditions, and it was it's really hot. It's 32 degrees now. Um, so the AC has to do a lot. So it's totally understandable and totally fine. I'm okay with this. And if you want to compare this result to other cars, in the description below, there's a Google sheet with all of my range tests with every car at 90, 110, and 130 kilometers an hour. If you want to follow me on Instagram, Life one and if you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description below. And here on YouTube, there's also channel membership. And if you want to know what's happening behind the scenes, I have a third YouTube channel, Behind the Battery. But that's it for me. Thank you much for watching. Have a great day and take care. Bye.